hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video let's uh, see how we can add the alert buttons like uh, how we can show the alert so whenever anyone does uh, sign up or login if there is any errors how i can display the particular errors to the in the form of alerts so i know you guys know i think the bootstrap alert so we have seen in the getbootstrap.com we have the alerts right so this is going we are going to use these alerts so if i just go in the starting itself i think it is there in the components so in the alerts we have you can see we have the alerts we have the simple alerts where i can just show these kind of alerts like uh if the person uh, sees any of the stuff so like with this uh, along with all these colors so now what i need to do here is uh so if you are new to the channel please subscribe here with it is a playlist here uh, we have been uh, almost i have added around 21 21 videos so it has been not updated right so it will be updated at the time when you are watching it so we had the previous video we have saw how to log in how to sign up with the front end it is using react and uh, we have fetched the api keys and uh, we have seen how exactly we can just do the sign up as well as the login so same uh, we'll be right doing the same thing we'll be working on this page itself but we are creating we'll be adding the parts in my alert so here i want to create one component so in the component i want to create what i want to create the one particular js file that is alert i want to just create the component that is alert.js file so here alert.js file it is uh, been created so in this alert so what it happens means here we'll be adding few of the stuffs over here so what i'll just here is i want to first i want to import the particular react i'll just tell uh, or your cd okay react functional based component so it is a alert so it will export it so here basically what it is going to return so here it is going okay, whenever it i'll just check one condition here so what i'll just check here i'll just pass the props so here i want to get the props okay so first i need to get the props from the uh, app.js i need to get the props okay so here in the props here i'll just say i'll just check one condition here i'll, I'll just tell if the props dot if there is a prop start alert a l e r t alert if i have an alert okay if i have the alert then i need to just display the block and then i need to just display the block over here let's tell uh, mm, I'll just tell if the prop start alert if there is any prop start alert I need to display the division tag I'll just tell I want to just display the div so I want to just display the alert so what will be the alert I'll just copy the same stuff over here I'll just copy one alert from here so that is I'll just copy this simple uh, alert okay so here I'll just uh, remove this uh, div I'll just paste it okay so it will be this alert it will be the alert alert primary so here the color of this one also will differ so I'll just uh, display in this uh, format. I want to display. I need to load dynamically. I need to load that error that is dynamically. I'll just load the particular error dynamically based on the colors. So I'll just tell alert alert. So I'll just pass in the props. I'll going to pass. I'll just tell dollar from my props. P R O P S props dot alert dot. What is the type of it? Okay. So this I'll just pass as a second argument okay props dot alerts dot type so whether it is a warning or a danger or a primary color so based on the colors it should just start will be there so then i need to just show the alert so here i'll roll uh, roll is equal to alert then uh, okay, okay 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 thing yeah alert 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 primary it is the class name is same alert alert primary okay we'll see if it's not works so then what else so here i need to just pass the message right i need to just pass the message i'll just tell uh, pass the particular message so here i need to just pass the particular message strongly i want to just pass it as a strong sty in strong and i'll just make this class as a class name okay so i want to just pass the message here so this is also i'll just pass it dynamically i'll just tell props dot dot alert dot message I'll just tell power alert dot message. So I'll just pass it in this. The first argument it will be the second argument. Okay. So this one, this is how the things will be there. So this is I'll just going to pass it. So now what I need to do here is uh, so this thing I'll just pass everything inside one div tag. Okay. So I'll just uh, cut it. I'll just use div. So instead here I'll just paste it in the own module. Okay. So I can just uh, make it one separate. I'll just right click and uh, format a document. Save all that's it now coming back to my app.js file here i need to here in i need to pass everything i need to pass the alerts to each and every stuff over here so in the alerts what i'll do here is first i will load the alert component here i'll just tell a i'll just tell a l e r t alert i want to come i need to load the alert over here 
so here i'll just set the timing timer i'll set the timer after two or three seconds uh, the alert should uh, get uh, it should just uh, go off i'll just tell const ale or the alert which is i am just passing dot set ale ERT alert so this alert is nothing but here you see i set the alert over here right so this is the alert so sorry not there so here we have been set dot alert so that is the this is the alert okay so and whenever it is changes it's going to set the alert to this particular alert it is just a props concept that is a use state sorry the use state concept so use the state so here use the state i'll just use you can see it has been imported from the react so then uh, i need to make i need to use the starting values as null okay i want to just keep the starting value as null done so now here i'll just tell whenever there is a error i'll just tell whenever there is a alert i need to just show the alert i'll just tell i'll write one function that is a show alert so i'll just show the alert i'll just tell what first i need to just pass the message then second i want to just pass the argument that is type 2 argument i'm going to pass so this will be the arrow function so i'll just tell whenever i'll tell whenever show alert function runs whenever there is a show alert function is going to run it should set the particular alert so what is the alert it should set it should set the two values first it should set what is the message right for the msd which i am passing here you see msd i'm grabbing it right msd dot type i'm grabbing it that i need to set it where in the app so i'll just tell my message will be what this message m-e-s-s-a-g-e -S message and uh, next what my t-u-i-p type so my type will be what same type itself okay so i'm just setting the values so whenever this set alerts was and i'll just set the one set timeout i'll just set that particular timeout i'll just set that timeout interval so this timeout will be taking the arrow function okay let's say at a time after that particular uh, error after that after the message is being shown at this point of time the message will get shown at this time of time the message will get appear so now i'll just make the set alert to null values over here that's it so again i want to just set the null values to null so when there is a null values the alert matter alert is not going to display see if it's dot that if there is an alert only if the alert is there it will show if it's not it will just uh, keep all the values to null and it is not it, this is only this is why i'm just using that if this condition true then only this is it is going to work if this condition is false it is not going to work so it is all the stuff is there over here okay so i'm just setting the particular set timeout function to uh, the particular null so then i'll just set it uh, to uh, 200 or i'll just keep it for the two min two seconds i want to just keep this particular stuff to the two seconds over right now so i want to just set it for the two seconds that's it so now what else i need to just do so now what i need to do here is i need to just pass the alert now so i want to just pass the alert so i want to pass this alert 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 okay so now i want to just pass so where i need to display the alert i want to just uh, display the alert where i can just display i'll be displaying at the navbar below the navbar i want to just uh, display the alert so here is my navbar so here i'll just set the particular alert 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 so i want to set the i'll just load the component of alert here so when there is an alert it will just pass the alert function so alert alert is equal to alert alert so this will be passed as a props so see this alert is been going to pass as a props to this alert component so from this props i can iterate all the values from it okay i can iterate the type i can iterate the message from there okay so this is why i have been set it so same thing so i need to uh, now whenever show alert so show alert is one thing but i'll just pass this show alert whenever i pass the show alert whenever i am using a show alert in the sign up as well as a login page when i want to show the alert and i want to show the message i'll be using a show alert function it will be expecting two things that is a message as well as a type when it is there it will just target it and it will just show the alert and it will after two seconds it is going to disappear so because of that i want to just pass this show alert each and to my every component so here you see i'm passing to the home also i'll just pass like i'll just tell my show alert should be show alert okay so whatever the show alert will be there it should just uh, i need to just pass as a props to every component i'll just pass this as a props to my every component so let's pass it as a props to my every component here also let's pass here also let's pass i'll just save it so now i'll just save you can see i'm getting an error expected assignment function call that is an expression where is i'm getting like number 26 that is five so where is it here i'm getting an error so here uh, something has been set wrong it will just uh, i'll set the timeout here i have been used the arrow function and here it has been closed okay actually i need to just do it here okay 200 uh, seconds so let's uh, remove this one so let's just save that error will be gone okay done 
Now coming back to my login page. Now I want to just uh, do it for the sign up first. So first I want to just uh, here I need to load everything as a props. So here I want to load the props in my sign up. So I need to load the particular uh, props in my sign up. So here I just see. So see here where is here here. So whenever there is a no, I'll just remove. I'll just tell props dot show alert. Now I'll just choose the function that is show alert props dot show a l e r t alert. I want to just use the uh, props dot show alert. So I'll just tell password incorrect password in correct okay in correct password incorrect and i want to just show this is in the warning i want to just give the warning message okay that is in the yellow color so that is one thing i want to just show it into the prop that show alert over here i'll just copy same thing and when i when i need to show again so if i just if there is a no success if there is something went wrong i'll just show if there something is wrong so i'll just show this is inside the info color i'll just tell uh, something went wrong I'll just tell uh, something went wrong. I want to just show the sign. Anyone I can just show the error, but I don't want to show the error. Like uh, for this, I'll just tell something show wrong. Something went wrong. If there is something is there, and one more thing, I can just show something like if there is a if something something went wrong is because right happens means if the email is already exists. That is why it is this particular uh, error will just show. If I'll just tell email already exists. So I'll just show it. Yeah, something went wrong. Uh, email exist i'll just show it like if this email exists because email exists something like you can say email already exists i'll just tell email already so because of this only right the error will be coming but as i said email already exists i'll just show it this in say the warning color then else i'll just tell again if all the things work i'll just tell login success i'll just tell prop dot show alert i'll just tell uh, login success or you'll just set it as a sign up success S I G N U P sign up sign up success. So it will be inside one S U C C E S S success color. Okay. So I want to set it by like So same way I'll just uh, go to my. So if there is an error, so something is error. So I'll just uh, copy if all the error. Here I'll just tell internal error. I'll just do it. If something went wrong, I'll just tell internal error. Inter internal server error. I'll just show so internal server error. So this will be inside my danger color okay so this will be the danger color same i will come back to my login same i'll just uh, get all the props from my app.js file so here i'll just say so wherever there is a whenever i'll just login success something went wrong is there right i'll just tell here uh, invalid credentials so i'll just tell props dot show alert i'll just tell invalid credentials so if the user exists i'll the particular part if something both the email as well as the things matches i'll just show or else i'll just tell invalid credentials if everything is uh, perfect what i'll just tell login success i'll just show the error sorry i'll just uh, show them the props that is a alert i'll just tell show alert that is login success i'll just tell elvoji and login success something whichever you like you can just use the color i'll just use the primary color okay so i'll just save it so once i save coming back here if i just go back to my home so now see if i just click on to the login so now if i just uh, log in it if i just tell um, a what is aadi at uh, gb5 gmail.com if i give the wrong password if i log in you can see invalid credential after two seconds it is going to evaporate then if i just tell um, something if i just tell if i just tell at the rate gmail.com if i provide the wrong password if i sign up you can see password incorrect that means all everything has been working so each and every stuff will work if i if i just tell a d i adi at uh, gmail.com if i just tell a a d i adi if i log in invalid credentials okay so if i just pass the perfect password a n e s login success you can see welcome aditya everything is working perfectly that is cool right yeah so now one thing we have done so now one more thing i want to just add the logout button also i want to just add the logout button so it is very simple that is a uh, logout is uh, going to work so here i can just tell i'll just set it the particular uh, logout inside my navbar or somewhere else okay i'll just set it the logout inside my navbar function so where is the navbar over here so i'll just set up the logout function here so here what i'll do the log logout here is what i'll do here whenever anyone try to click on to the logout function so first i need to use the navigate i'll just use the navigate let's uh, navigate is equal to navigate so this is i'll just use here over here so i want to use the navigate so what i'll just tell uh, i'll just tell const i'll just use the logout so whenever anyone try to this particular uh, url 
so it should run this function so what i'll do basically i will remove the local storage there's a local storage dot uh, remove item i want to just remove all the items from the local storage that is i want to remove the token okay then what else i want to remove the name i want to remove the name i want to remove the yes you cc ess success i want to remove the name i want to remove the uh, token i need to remove the success then i'll just tell i'll just tell even i'll get the pro, I'll just tell, uh, props dot show alert alert i'll just tell logout okay logout s u c c e s s success it should redirect to so this color will be what it will be it, it will be a uh, success green color then i'll just tell navigate navigate where i need to log in i navigate i'll just navigate him to the login page that's it okay so i'll just save it like this so once it's been now i need to uh, display the particular stuff here i need to uh, check the condition here so here i basically i need to just check the few conditions here so i'll just check when before showing this url before showing this uh, stuff before showing this one so where is the link as well as the link i will just check what i'll just tell if i just tell if there is a local storage if something if there is a local storage if i just uh, i need to if the person is logged in so here see i am logged in even though it is showing me the sign up as login if i am logged in it should show me the logout button if i am not logged in it should show these two buttons so this is one thing we need to take care so here i'll just use the internet operator so i'll just use something like if i just tell yeah let's say if the not of local storage if the not, not of local storage dot get item so if there is no token if the my token is empty if my token is empty okay if the token is empty if there is no token then i need to show what i need to uh, show this two two lines of code i need to just show this two lines of code okay if i need to show this if not if not what i need to show i need to show something i need to if there is a no if there is a stuff like this i want to just show this link uh, sorry if there is a sorry if there is a not if there is no token i need to show, show uh, these two things if it's not i want to just show the something else i want to just show the something that is i want to just show the logout button so let's use the button here so let's tell buttn button so some errors is there let me debug that one so here i'll just use button so here i'll just tell class name so i'll give the same class name that is a btn btn sorry the btn btn primary so i want to just show the primary button i'll just tell on click whenever anyone try to click on to it anyone try to click on to it i want to show the i want to run the logout button and roll be will be it is a roll of a button then i'll just uh, use something so let's use the uh, logout here so i'll just tell basically i'll just tell as a yellow G O U T logout okay so let's display it so here i'm getting an error same way i need to display something like far for users so i want to display the logo here i'll just display it okay but here i'm getting an error so what is the error what is the error so the error is like uh, it is the uh, accepting the div tags so what i'll do i'll just cut this div i'll just cut this div here let's paste it okay so and i'll just close my div tag here slash div i'll just close the div tag here and one div i need to remove from here now all the errors gone so same way i'll just copy the same again i'll just copy this div tag so even i need to paste it over here so again i need to just close my div tag over here slash t i v div that's it save it so there is no errors ah uh, errors you yeah, know errors a couple errors so if i just uh, save i again oh, oh so where i am getting errors so they are getting some errors so what is getting now in uh, uh, closing tags okay some expected cross one js is closing for okay okay i is not getting closed i is not getting closed somewhere so here is i is getting closed so here i need to just close the i also right so here i need to just close the i tag slash i okay done now the error is gone so just come you can see i'm getting a logout button no, because i have logged in if i click onto the logout you can see logout function is not working why 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 logout function is not working i'll right click and i'll inspect let's see the console it is telling the prop dot show alert is not a function prop dot show alert is not a function props dot show alert is not a function because i'm just passing the props and show alert is also there where it is not a function so even i'm just passing the props props dot show alert only right so we have been uh, 
set the prop start in the logging i have been set it over prop start show alert okay prop start show alert in the navbar okay why because you have not set it uh, i have not passed the in the navbar you can see in the navbar i have not passed it so i'll just pass this uh, one element like i'll just pass the element to it element is equal to i'll just pass it something like i'll just tell uh, uh, i need to just pass something i need to just pass the show alert to it simply so i'll just uh, pass like this if i just pass simply like this whether this works i not tried let me try i just pass in from simply like this that is a show alert is equal to show alert is not working if i just use it in double quotes so and i'll just use it like this and i'll just close this like this okay here i need to just uh, remove and even i need to just remove it uh, from here so here i'll just uh, pass it like this okay so this one i'll just keep it as one as an element e l e m e n t element is equal to okay it is also not working element is equal to show alert is not working because uh, here i'll just pass the navbar in a v v r navbar now it is working okay i need to just close in this fashion so i am not getting like this uh, show alert is equal to show alert so even though it is not working because of some of the errors so let me see later we'll just uh, i'll just see about that thing in later so now let's tell to do is equal to to do so what i'll do i'll just remove i just i need to just uh, sorry i need to just be like this i'll just close it so now what i'll do here is in my login so here what i'll do i whenever anyone if anyone click on the logout so where anyone try to click on to the logout from the navbar from the navbar anyone try to so because i have added it over here so i'll just tell uh, navigate to the login page simply okay so i'll just save it so now if i try to log out so you can see it has been logged out so you can see it has been logged out because the function worked so now if i just log in if i just show you again if i log in now i'll just tell adi at uh, gmail.com and if i just tell a n e s login success welcome adi there click on to the logout you can see logout success if i come back to the home page i'm getting only welcome okay so welcome aditya it is been uh, displaying so where is it where is it in the home page home page like that okay so all the things has been working fine you can see we have uh, completed our authentication system perfectly we have completed sign up we have completed login we have been seen how to fetch the api key and how we can show the alert buttons how we can set the tokens to our uh, local storage in the application and even we have seen how to clear the tokens and everything almost thing we have completed almost all the authentication system of our uh, website so next in my next video we are working we'll be working on to the to-do list so next we'll be working on to the to-do list where we'll be having a create we'll be having an update we'll be having a read and we'll be having a delete so all these four operations we have uh, will be worked in the backend part so in my next video we'll be working with the backend so here we have the routes so if we have only worked with the auth now in the next video we'll be working on a node like to-do list like we'll be uh, as i said create fetch the delete and fetch i will be writing the backend code for it so once we have created api keys for the to-do list then we'll be coming back to the front end back again the same thing how we have done for the authentication system we first work on to the backend api keys then we came and we worked on to the front end part so let's say we will be doing for a to-do list also okay so thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you next time if you are new to the channel please subscribe to my channel take care bye bye